I gotta say, okay, I've seen you do this kind of role. I've seen you in Underworld, I, I, but you come from a lot of television. What is it about this kind of big budget action film? I mean, you're you are good. You're natural with the action stuff. Why do you like it? Um, if you like it. <laughs> uh, well, um, yeah. I hope. I mean, yeah. I guess that's that's fun. It's gratifying. I kind of feel. Um, like if you're able to physically get into a role that's quite um it's not only fun but it's also it really seats yourself in it uh also i like to be kind of physically active so and i'm a kind of big fan of that genre i always have i've got lots of brothers with boys we you know yeah. like that stuff but then i also kind of motivated by you know the the actual emotional scenes and, and the, the the human story behind it is as precious as that sounds but i think you know watching it on sunday we were relieved because i think in the midst of a big spectacle movie you you still have scenes really about people and about mm. kind of you know something that is something beyond just the spectacle well it's funny the the guys upstairs were saying you know I asked them who's the toughest who could really win in a fight and they both said you <laughs> <laughs> they better exactly. <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> now, now how much they said they had a couple weeks how much did you go into it with the physical and the combat um, I had about a month before but also I kind of used some of my experience before I kind of have always been a boxing fan so I wanted to use whatever experience I had to make it feel as real as possible um, and also I like the idea I had you know we had two great stunt coordinators um, one of whom I actually worked with already on, on Underworld but what I wanted and they wanted was th this they wanted four to be not flourishing kind of triple roundhouse kicks he wants to be kind of efficient and deadly so we kind of came up with this style uh, that you know he's going to be jabbing someone's throat or like it's efficiency above anything else, and I, I kind of like the idea of that. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, you did that. You did that very well, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with this character, you have you have this some great screen time with Shailene. Mm. What what was it about that relationship working with her? Did you guys find in the process of creating these two characters and bringing them to life? Yeah, we we really thought it was important to what what we kept doing, and Shay's very good at this as well. She she has. She's always reminding herself of the the kind of the true emotionality of the scene and, and the reason you're telling the story, and I and I think we both tried very hard to do that because in these big movies, the, it's a big CG set, it's yeah. a, whatever it is. You're on a train that half of it doesn't exist because it's going to be added in post, you know, or you're doing a big fight sequence. You have to remember the story behind it, and you have to remember why the people are there because at the end of the day, you're telling a story about people, yeah. and the other stuff is is kind of you know. Uh, sugar on the cake or whatever so so just constantly reminding yourself of the fact that these two people are in love in the midst of these kind of crazy futuristic circumstances